Yo, 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 what's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. This is Brad with Being Chill. Today we're going to be talking about the LG Magnet. Now the LG Magnet is LG's new micro LED display, the first one they've released to the public. And it's going to be a 163 inch display made up of individual modules. I will touch on that in a little bit. But it's also only going to display in a resolution of 4K. And you're really not going to see this in anybody's home. So, you know, don't expect to see this. They're selling it as a commercial display, you know, something you'd see like a big wall of TVs in a building. This is going to be kind of replacing that as like an electronic sign type deal. So let's dive right into some of the technical specifications of this TV and what we can hope to see from micro LED TVs. Now you may be wondering what magnet stands for. The LG magnet stands for magnificent knit, basically just saying that this is going to be one of their brightest TVs ever. And one of the most important parts about micro LEDs is that they allow for true blacks because the pixels can be turned off completely instead of just, you know, lowering their brightness or changing their color to as close as they can get with black, which is going to allow for blacks on these TVs to be true blacks, which is going to be the first time we're seeing it in your commercial TVs. And you're also going to see better quality colors and you're going to see wider viewing angles with these TVs. And you're also going to see that these inorganic LEDs that they're using is not gonna cause burn-in like you're seeing with the organic LEDs used in OLED TVs, which is the main complaint right now circulating about OLED TVs. So micro LED is definitely improving on that. However, it's probably gonna be a while before we see these in like your local Best Buy, you know, probably 10 years away really. So if you're hesitant on buying OLED right now, you know, just keep in mind if you are waiting for micro LED, you're gonna be waiting for a long time and it just might not be worth waiting that long. Now, LG is going to be coating these displays with their new LG black coating that they're releasing, and basically this is gonna cause no fingerprints or not many fingerprints to show up. It's gonna be anti-glare, and it's gonna protect these pixels from you know moisture, dust, and small impacts. So and that's another thing that we're gonna see releasing alongside this. However, you know, it's probably just a fancy marketing scheme for some you know, screen protector type deal they're putting on here. I would not get too excited about this. Now, the reason we're seeing a display this large being made is because it's made up of individual modules. And these modules are gonna be the LSA B009, and they're gonna run at a resolution of 640 by 360. And if you get really close to them, if you notice, whenever they do demos of these events, they always will block off, you know, front of the TV. That way you can't get that close to it because you'll be able to see the lines if you look really closely where these individual components are meeting together. And you know, that's not something you wanna see in your house. So this is definitely like a commercial sign type deal. You're gonna put up in a big building and nobody's gonna get really close to it. So that's one reason why this technology is not quite ready yet. Now, if we look at the specs here, you'll see that, you know, the pixel pitch is only 0.9 millimeters. And this is really more in mini LED territory than micro LED. So we're definitely seeing this as kind of like a marketing scheme where they're saying that it's micro LED when it's really not. And, you know, we're definitely going to see improvements in the future. However, this is definitely them trying to grab some free press over the announcement of this micro LED TV. Now, the reason we're not seeing this TV launch as an 8K TV is because this pixel pitch of 0.9 millimeters is simply too big for them to place these little micro LEDs next to each other. So it's going to be a while before the manufacturing process catches up. But for now, this is the best that we can get. And also, if you look here at the nits, you're going to see that this TV has a peak brightness of 1200 nits and you're gonna see an average brightness on this TV of around 600 nits. So, you know, it's noticeably bright. I wanna know just how expensive this TV is probably gonna be. You know, a comparable Sony Crystal LED TV just launched and it was selling for around $350,000. So, you know, that's definitely out of my price range. <laughs> I could not justify making this purchase. If you're someone that could, you know, more power to you. You might wanna put this up in a big building somewhere or if you have a really nice studio theater in your house or something you want to do, you know, go for it if you really want something like this. However, me and most other consumers, I say, will definitely never see this at this price point. And it's going to have to come a long ways before people are going to be buying this. So, you know, in conclusion, we're really not going to see these TVs, you know, for a long time. Definitely not at the consumer level. We're, we're not going to see the manufacturing catch up for a long time. You know, they first displayed micro LED, you know, at CES a couple years ago. And, you know, here we are in 2020 and they're still barely being able to use them. So 
it's going to be a while. We have to wait for the manufacturing process to catch up. If you don't want to buy an OLED TV right now because of the burn-in and you want to wait for micro LED, you know, be prepared to wait a good while. I'd say it's probably going to be about 10 years until we see, you know, one of these TVs in your local Best Buy at a price that most people could afford. So if you're willing to wait, you know, go for it. But, you know, I would highly recommend just going and, you know, getting like a cheaper TV to hold you over if you have an older TV or buy something nice now the OLED burn-in while it is kind of an issue for some people you might not really see a big deal I would just get a cheaper TV now if you really are concerned with the burn-in and just upgrade a couple years down the line when these TVs are available well that just about wraps up everything I've got for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it you know it's very interesting to see LG release this new magnet TV and you know I've definitely got my eyes peeled looking forward to micro LED technology in the future we are going to see many LEDs coming into the iPad Pro soon, so, you know, the technology is improving, it's getting there, but, you know, we're still a good ways away. That's all I've got. Once again, this is Brad with Being Chill. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's much appreciated. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!